All right, it's 8.55, and finally this hour, the skateboarding ocean spray guy was one of the feel-good moments of 2020. And now we're learning more about how his life has changed since going mega viral. Fox 5's Angie Goff talked to him about that and his love for the Washington football team. Take a look. I had a chance to sit down and tap into the mind of Nathan Apodaca, also known as Dogface. Yeah, yeah. uh, oh my gosh, the interview of the year, viral TikTok skateboarder star Nathan Apodaca joins us now in months. You're out of the RV, you bought a house, you got a new truck, you're hanging with Snoop Dogg. What's been the best part of it all? Everything, you know, my dad's been working at the same warehouse for 30 plus, plus years, you know what I mean? And just to be able to help them out and get my mom a car, you know, get my dad a car. The story behind that video was that you, the car broke down, right? That you were supposed to take? That day when my car broke down, you know, I grabbed my skateboard, grabbed my juice, started walking, and we, yeah, it was right there. Everything clicked. It was just so perfect how everything just fell in line. And then, yeah, I almost didn't post it, but like I said, I reminded, reminded myself again that I can always delete it if it doesn't do well. It took seven hours to hit the first million, and then after that, it was just crazy. You got Mick Fleetwood to join TikTok. When you saw their videos, what would what did you think? I was just blown away, you know what I mean? When I first seen Mick, Mick you know, I was like, whoa, that's crazy, you know, he did it. Then all of a sudden, Stevie did it in her skate, but, and then I seen Lindsay come out and did his on this horse, you know, and I liked how he did his transition with the horse and everything. Well, I got to get your reaction to another video. <laughs> That's awesome. You had the tattoo and everything. That's insane. You know what I mean? One of the best ones as well. You know what I mean? That was awesome. I saw you. You had a Washington football jersey on. Yeah, Washington's all day. I've always been a, fan, or a bit of fan of it. You know, my uncles and aunties, everybody, just on the on Thanksgiving, you know, it was it was always custom to sit there and watch the football game, you know. Growing up, that's how it was all day, Washington. Yeah. Washington <laughs> What's next for you? Me and Lux Boards did a collaboration. We got an electric longboard coming out. I'm basically constantly moving, trying to keep this going, you know what I mean? You were out in LA, uh, you, you actually were helping give out meals, right? And it's, I've just been blessed in so many ways that I wanna help give back to the community and to people around me as much as I can. I want to see if, um, you know, before we go, if you'd be willing to vibe with me. <laughs> yeah. I want to be like Angie Dogface. So, <laughs> yeah. woo, woo, woo. Spiritual background is kind of crappy. I like it. It's pretty nice. You like it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right. Rocking around the Christmas tree at the Christmas party hop. Mistletoe home where you can see every couple tries to stop. Your tips, because everybody's trying to be a viral sensation. Basically, just be yourself, put your 100% in it, voice out everybody, and just do you. You're awesome. And next time you meet Snoop Dogg, you better bring me. Or you're dead to you me. It. You're you dead to it. me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just a reminder, you can catch Angie's full interview with the dog face on episode 60 of the Oh My Gosh Show podcast, which is out today. All right, Jeanette, over to you. All right. We, I knew I liked him. He likes the Washington football team, so he's good in my book. <laughs>